Hi everybody, this is Riley in Music with another Ion Audio speaker tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering how to set up and use your Tahiti speaker pair. So after you unbox your Tahiti speakers, the first step is to fully charge them. Open the panel on the back of the unit to find its charging port. Connect your provided micro USB cable, then plug the other end into a power outlet using a USB power adapter that can handle a current of at least 5 volts and 2 amps and plug it into a power outlet. A red LED light will illuminate next to the power button when your speaker is charging. USB ports on a computer or older USB wall chargers with less than 2 amps will still charge the battery slowly but will not be able to power the speaker. For best results, we recommend keeping the Tahiti speakers powered off until they reach a full charge. Let your speakers charge for up to 5 hours to ensure a full battery. The red LED light will turn off when the battery is full. So now, let's take a look at the Tahiti speaker itself and its onboard features. To turn your speaker on or off, press and hold the power button for 2 seconds. You'll hear the speaker say, Power on. Followed by, Bluetooth pairing. Your speaker also has a standby mode, which you can enter and exit by quickly tapping the power button once. Standby. Awake. Note that while in standby mode, your speaker's battery life will be slightly reduced, so if you're planning on not using the speaker for any extended period of time, we recommend fully powering it off. The Bluetooth button is used to wirelessly pair Bluetooth devices with the speaker, as well as for linking it to other speakers using multi-sync. We'll cover how to do this in a bit. The Lights button is for changing your speaker's light mode. When you power on the unit, it'll default to flicker mode, but you can change this to three solid color modes, max brightness, medium brightness, and low brightness. Pressing the Lights button once more will turn the light off. Finally, the Tahiti speakers feature a solar panel to help extend the battery life on sunny days outside. While the panels are great for extending the battery life of your speakers, you'll always experience the fastest charging when your speaker is plugged in and powered off. For best results, make sure to place your speakers in an area that receives at least 3 hours of direct sunlight per day. So now that we're familiar with the speakers themselves, let's learn how to connect a device via Bluetooth. After powering your speaker on, Bluetooth mode will be turned on by default and it'll be ready to connect to any Bluetooth pairing requests. On the device you want to connect to your speaker, power on Bluetooth and open the Bluetooth menu. You'll see two new available Bluetooth devices pop up. To connect the device to the speaker, make sure you select Tahiti speaker. If you see a device ending in BLE appear on the list, this can be ignored. This is a Bluetooth channel that the Ion Sound XP app will use to communicate with your Tahiti speakers. So just tap Tahiti speaker, and you'll hear your speaker say, Bluetooth connected. Now any audio you play from your device will play through your speaker. Remember that Ion Sound XP app I mentioned? It's really useful for making quick adjustments to your speaker's settings without having to use the onboard buttons, and it's available for both Android and iOS devices. On your device, open the App Store or Google Play Store and search Ion Sound XP. Then follow the on-screen instructions to download and install it. Next, open the Ion Sound XP app, and it'll prompt you to turn on your device's Bluetooth, location, and location access settings to function properly with your speaker. Grant these permissions to get to the next step. Before we go any further, make sure your device is near your speaker and that there aren't any objects like furniture, walls, or other things in the way that could obstruct your Bluetooth connection. On the following screen, click the plus in the bottom right to add your speaker so you can connect it. The app will begin scanning for nearby Ion Audio devices, and your speaker will pop up on the screen. Tap Next, and on the next screen, you can enter a custom name for your speaker here if you'd like. I'm going to call this one Tahiti Speaker 1, and then just tap Finish. Now your speaker has been added to the list of available products you can control with the app. So just tap your speaker to access its control menu. You have a switch to disable or enable your speaker's automated voice prompts, which your speaker will confirm verbally when changing. Voice off. Voice on. You can adjust your speaker's lighting, including its on-off setting and the light modes we saw earlier. And by tapping the audio button, you can enable, 
disable and adjust your speaker's low, mid, and high EQ settings. Going back to the speaker control screen, you can tap this help icon in the top right corner to access instructions for using Multisync to connect your speaker to more Multisync compatible Ion Audio speakers. Since the Tahiti speakers come as a pair, let's learn how to sync them to each other. First, make sure that your Tahiti speaker is properly connected to your device via Bluetooth using the steps we covered earlier. The Tahiti speaker you've connected to will be the primary speaker in the signal chain, meaning it will feed its audio signal into any other speakers you connect to it with multi-sync. Those speakers will be your secondary speakers. Next, double press the Bluetooth button on your primary speaker to enter multi-sync mode. The speaker's LED will change from blue to white and you'll hear the speaker say, Multi-sync primary speaker. Make sure that any secondary speakers are within 100 feet or 30 meters of the primary speaker. The closer they are to each other, the faster they'll sync. Now, power on any other speakers you want to sync to your primary speaker. Here, I have my other Tahiti speaker, so I'll just turn it on. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. And then I'll press and hold its Bluetooth button to make sure any previously paired Bluetooth devices are now disconnected. Next, I'll double press its Bluetooth button to turn on multi-sync mode. Multi-sync secondary speaker. Its LED will begin flashing green, and it will automatically sync to my primary speaker. Once it does, the light will be solid green, and you'll hear the secondary speaker say, Synced. Now any audio that I play from my Bluetooth connected device will be sent to both speakers. Let's wrap up by going over some basic troubleshooting techniques for your Tahiti speakers. If the unit isn't charging, make sure that the micro USB cable is properly connected to the power input, the USB power adapter, and the power outlet. Again, we recommend using a power adapter that can handle a current of at least 5 volts and 2 amps. If the sound from your speakers is distorted or clipping, try lowering the volume on your Bluetooth connected device. Distortion can sometimes occur if your device's volume is near or at 100%. Distortion can also be caused by sending a signal with too much bass to the speakers. Adjust the EQ or tone control on your sound source to lower the bass level, or use the EQ setting in the Ion Sound XP app. If you're having trouble connecting your device to your speaker via Bluetooth, here are a few things to try. Have your device and speaker as close to each other as possible when attempting to connect. Walls, furniture, or other objects that lie between the device and speaker may cause obstruction of the Bluetooth signal. Reset your speaker's Bluetooth connection by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button. Bluetooth disconnected. Bluetooth pairing. Then try connecting your device. Bluetooth connected. Likewise, reset your device's Bluetooth connection by turning off Bluetooth, then turning it back on and reconnecting. If none of these steps work and you've previously connected this device to your speaker, find Tahiti Speaker in the list of available or previously connected Bluetooth devices in your device's Bluetooth menu. Then tap the gear or eye icon next to it and select forget or unpair. Then turn off your speaker, turn it back on, and try pairing again. Bluetooth connected. If you're still experiencing an issue with your Tahiti speakers, Contact the Ion Audio support team at ionaudio.com forward slash support. They'll be able to help you out and get you back to listening in no time. You can find this link down in the description. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video has been helpful for you and that you're ready to enjoy listening with your Tahiti speakers. Catch you next time.